the most difficult concept in all of programming is object-oriented programming. It absolutely is. And I think that most Python courses, most C courses, most C++ courses, and literally most Java courses do an awful job of teaching object-oriented programming. And that's because they say, well, we're going to make an animal and then we're make a cat that yep. inherits from animal. And then we're going to make a dog that inherits from animal. And we're going to make the cat meow and the dog bark. Now, you know, object-oriented programming. And if you ever are a professional programmer, it is not about animals, cats, and dogs. It's it's about solving problems of isolating code without, you know, and, and implementing things and changing implementations. And there's so much to it that Understanding object-oriented programming is, to me, the key to becoming a successful professional programmer. And so this course, the C course, when, I, when we talked last time, I, I didn't think I was going to talk about object-oriented programming in the C course. As, as a matter of fact, I, I had this whole story arc, and I, I, I think of courses as stories. I had this whole story yeah. arc where at the end, I'm like, and I'm not going to talk about object-oriented programming. And I had these two poems I read at the end. And one one was Miles to Go Before We Sleep, both were from Robert Frost. Um, In a forest dark and deep, miles to go before we sleep, snow is falling, all that stuff. And um, and I had another one that says, I'm going to take the road less traveled. And the idea that I had when I was reading the poem, The Road Less Traveled, was I'm not going to teach you object-oriented programming. And all, most people at this point in the class teach you object-oriented programming. So I had all these lectures recorded with these two poems in them at the very end of the class. And and what happened was, is I was teaching the class live because I did that a year ago. I was teaching it on campus live. And I'm like, I had a bunch of really sharp, sharp students from courses. I only had 12 students, so I could talk to them continuously. And, and I said, okay, we're done now. And they're like, you're done? I'm like, yeah, road, road less traveled. We're not going to go that way. And they're like, you can't do that. You have to tell us about objects and you have to tell us about C++. I'm like, no, but I don't like C++. And they're like, yeah, but we like C++. <laughs> and so I had to go back first and edit the poems. Now there's only one poem in the thing and that is Miles to Go Before We Sleep. And then what I decided to do was focus the last third of the class, which you know, as of this time last year didn't even exist, on implementing object-oriented programming in C. 